17 News is your local election headquarters. Today, a major endorsement in the race for first district supervisor. The leaders of the union that represents Kern probation officers announced they are backing Darris Stevens. 17's Aton Wallace spoke with Stevens and joins us tonight with his reaction. Hey, Don. The endorsement comes from the Kern County Probation Officers Association. That is the union which represents all Kern juvenile correctional officers and deputy probation officers. Now, the members of the union met with Stevens today. They say the former Kern County Sheriff's deputy and former Marine, he's the right guy for District 1, they say, a district which includes parts of Bakersfield, the Kern River Valley, as you see on the map there, and much of East Kern. He definitely had the experience, and that's what we go by, um, years of experience, and he's been involved in a long time with um, not only public safety, like I said, in the community, he owns small business, he understands um, the importance of the community, and that's what we're looking for. They want an advocate and, uh, for public safety, so do the citizens, so do I, and I'm going to deliver. Stevens is running to fill the seat occupied by the retiring Mick Gleason. Gleason's field representative Philip Peters and farmer David Fluhart of Havila also are running for the seat. So, a reminder, KGET is planning a live debate for this race, the two other supervisorial races, and the race for Bakersfield mayor. The live debate featuring the first district candidates will air on February 13th right here on TV 17. 17's Jim Scott and I will moderate. Meantime, today marks 55 days until primary election day. That's March 3rd, 2020. In studio, Aton Wallace, 17 News. All right, All right thanks, Aton.